Here I'm going to discuss the time value of money tables, but only as a reference for how we use our calculator or our Excel functions here to determine. And in this case, it would be the future values, present values, and then uh, future value and present value of ordinary annuities, and then future value and present values, values of annuity dues. So first off here, we have to understand what our interest rate and periods represent. So if we had an interest rate at 5% per year, the number of periods here would be for four years, represent four years. Now if these periods represented four months, and our interest rate was 5% per year, we'd have to divide 5 by the number of months or 12 months per year to come up with 0.42% per month. So typically we're given, well, we're given a table here and it'll have the interest rate across the top and then a number of periods across the uh, side here. So you take your number of periods that you have and you take our interest rate and where they intersect, you'll get that uh, factor that we use here in this case for determining the present value of an amount of money and the tables always are identified here but we we'll use them as a reference in these cash flow diagrams so you get a good understanding on how to use your calculator or an excel function to determine these um, what these future values and present values are okay when we're given a problem in accounting or finance we first have to be able to put that problem in terms of a cash flow diagram say for example here we've got a, a known amount here at the end of the fourth year and we want to know what it's worth here at the beginning of the first year so in this case we'd use a present value single sum table we got a a single sum out here and we want to discount it back to a single sum here. So in this case let's just say we used a 5% uh, over four years. So we would have the present value factor here that we determined before off this table and then we take it times the known future value amount here say of $1,000. So we take that factor times $1,000 and we'd come up with $822.70. So that's what this known amount of four thousand or one thousand dollars at the end of the fourth year is worth and worth at the beginning of the first year or in today's dollars so all these tables work the same and then we just have to recognize what our cash flow uh, diagram is and we'll go through each one of those five or six basic ones that we referenced in the beginning okay now i'll review each one of these cash flow diagrams so the first one we are looking at here where we get a known value at the end and we have to determine what its present value here is at the beginning. So in this case we'd use the present value function or present value single sum table. All right. Okay the next one here we have a known value here at the beginning and we have to determine what uh, that future value is out here in, at the end. So. Here we'd use a future value function or future value single sum table. Okay, in this cash flow diagram we have four equal payments and each of them are at the end of each period. Now, we want to discount those back or we want to know what their present value is here at the beginning. So that's the unknown amount. So in this case we'd use the present value of an ordinary annuity. So your problem will usually refer to it as ordinary annuity and then you would understand that the payments are at the end of the period or they'll say that they're end of the period. So make sure when you do your calculation or in your calculator or whatever you use here that you have to indicate that the payments are at the end of the period. So let's look at the next one here. Now we got four equal payments but they're at the beginning of the period. That's the key here. And we want to discount those or we want to know what their present value is here, which is the unknown amount in the beginning. So in this case, we'd use the present value of an annuity due. So that's the key here. They'll either refer to it as annuity due or they'll say that the payments are at the beginning of the period. So you have to, again, adjust your calculator or use the proper table to understand that the payments are at the beginning of the period. Okay, in this cash flow diagram, we have four equal payments, and each of them are at the end of each period. And here we want to uh, determine what their future value is. That's the unknown amount. So in this ca case, we use a future value of an ordinary annuity. And remember this ordinary annuity, and that the payments are 
at the end of each period. Okay, let's look at the next one here. Now we got four equal payments again, and they're at the beginning of each period. And we want to determine what their future value is here. That's the unknown amount. So in this case, we'd use a future value of an annuity due. So that's the key here. Annuity due means that the payments are at the beginning of the period. So understand these cash flow diagrams when you're going through them. And when you're given a problem, you have to determine in case of these annuities where you got the four equal pay or you got the equal payments over a period, you have to determine if they're at the beginning of the period or if or at the end of the period. In the beginning of the period, they're called annuity dues. And if the payments are received here at the end of the period, they're called ordinary annuities.